Hey there, welcome to Flying Wheels. My name is Craig and today's a fun video because I am going to buy an absolute beater of a Mustang GT and see if we can bring it back to life. But not only that, we're gonna try to make some money on it as well. So today I'm gonna come right alongside with me to a dealer only auction. I'm gonna buy a Ford Mustang GT. And this thing is a beater. I mean, it is rough. So it's gonna be a challenge to see if we can bring it back to life. And then after that, we're gonna to try to sell it and see if we can make a profit. Might be a winner, might be a loser. You're gonna stick around to the end to see what happens. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. Let's get going. Hey, welcome to another dealer auction. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. Back behind me, and that is Papa Al. Today, I went fishing. I went fishing for a project. We haven't had a project at the shop in quite a while. Auction day, auction day. Projects. Do I need a Panther project? Mm, uh, yeah, no. I don't know, this would be fun, but I don't need that. Let's go for a Mustang. Ooh, is that a Cadillac XLR? Let's see, 04 with 70,000 miles and it's locked. That is a sharp ride. Ah, even though it's a six cylinder, I still do pretty good with these. Throw some SS wheels on it. It does have leather and it is a standard transmission. This might not be so bad. Wait a tick. It's an Impala SS 09 with 87,000 miles. This is a 5.3 V8 black leather. This is a heck of a car. Oh my goodness, it's freezing in here. And it is a sleeper. Look at those headrests. This would be a fun one if it was a six speed. That is sharp. Now here is a Porsche Cayenne. If this is a GTS, yes, that's a turbo. This is over a 400 horsepower car. And what's cool about these, these have adjustable suspension, rear locking and front locking differentials. They have hill descent control. Let's see if it's unlocked. So this is actually a highly capable off-road vehicle. You can seriously raise the suspension high here. You have different levels of suspension and you have different controls for traction and differential. These cars are awesome until you have to repair them, but it would be pretty sweet on a jacked up set of rims and some beefy tires. This could be a cool project and I always have fun with these. The problem is the battery's dead, so I can't really start it or go through it well. And they're so cheap, but they're so cheap because, yeah, battery's dead. They're so cheap because they're so expensive to maintain, but this would be a fun project. What's crazy is how empty the auction is. Look at all those open spaces. That's insane. This auction is usually packed with cars, but there's a shortage on inventory video I have coming out, which is just drastically going to affect everybody, whether you're in the used car market or not. Hey, what about this car? This could be fun. Nice set of Z wheels. Is it a standard? Oh, look at the wheels are in the car or just one wheel in the car. All right, so we have two wheels here. We have one wheel in there. Let's see. Is the wheel in there? No. So we have three wheels, and I don't think I'll ever be able to find that fourth wheel. Those are cool though. Ooh, those look good on my skyline, actually. I do love FJs, and the market is super hot for them. That is a crazy weird scratch right there. Wow. Looks like a crazy ex girlfriend with long fingernails got upset. Raptor though? Been there, done that? Don't feel like spending $65,000 either. What's going on over there with all that blue smoke? That's gonna be somebody's headache. Hope you can see that on camera. I wonder what it is. I bet it's a BMW or a Volkswagen. Oh, it's a Land Rover. Is that over there a blue Civic Si? That is a car I would have loved to have in high school. Rare color. Let's go check that one out. Oh, look at this interior. Somebody spent some coin on this thing. I kind of just want this. Look at No rust. No rust. Original stripes around the uh, wheel wells. I don't know if that's correct, but it says 55,000 miles. This is a car that like, I'd buy and keep as a collector's car. This is crazy. Now, as cool as that interior is, check out what's in the trunk. Original seat covers. Now, I had showed you that Mercury Grand Marquis, which is the same as the Ford Crown Victoria, which is the same as this Lincoln Continental. This is a 99 Lincoln Signature Series, 
Continental, which is also on the Panther platform, those cop cars that you're used to. So this is a luxury cop car. This would just be nice to have. And they come with a 4.6 liter V8, same engine as the Mustang. But what am I gonna do with a Crown Victoria or a Continental town car, whatever? Oh, this is a town car, not a Continental. Oh, and she is a running rough. Does opposite of what it's supposed to do when I give it the gas. I give it the gas and it bogs down. I guess we'll stay away from this one. All right, project cars, project cars. What are we looking for? Let's find some Mustangs. Now again, see how many open spaces there are? All of these spaces used to be filled with cars. It has nothing to do with the auction and everything to do with the market. It is so, so empty as far as car inventory goes, which means we are all paying the price. So make sure to stay tuned for that video. I'm gonna tell you how it's affecting you. That right there is pretty cool. That's a Chevy 1500 SS. These are all wheel drive with, what in the heck is this guy doing? This, these are all wheel drive, not full wheel drive. And it comes in a six liter versus a five three. These things are actually crazy fast and fun to drive for trucks. But that right there makes me not want it. Ooh, a cop car could be fun. I think, is this an SHO? Is a four tourist cop car an SHO? I know it's a 3.5 liter EcoBoost all wheel drive, but is it SHO? I have no idea. I'd love you guys to tell me. Has the vinyl seats, the throw up seats in the rear, cloth in the front. These things are obviously beat to hack, no nav, but it was still pretty cool to have a cop car. I've actually never owned a cop car, ever. It is an EcoBoost, isn't it? I don't know, I don't know enough about these things. Oh wait, it might say it right here. 3.7 liters, so it is not a 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Hmm. Now, if that was a Caprice on the other hand, I would buy it in a heartbeat. More empty spaces, which means less inventory, more dealers needing cars, less inventory equals higher prices for everybody. This isn't good. I really wanted to work on some Mustangs. I haven't had one all summer. <sighs> Whatever, let's go inside and see what we can come up with today. is coming through. Let's see how it does. I want to be around 4,200 for this car. I'm willing to go up to 4,800, which is where it's at right now. Oh, never mind. I can't get it. And here's that Cayenne running. It needs tires, but those wheels are the better version of wheels available for this car. $4,200, that is a deal. It's going to be a headache from the start. I already know it. I'm done here. That's a hell of a deal for that car, though, if there's no issues. But I didn't get to look at it. Great possession, and it's a Porsche, so it has everything against it. Well, here's a Mustang, it's not the one I'm looking for. That Range Rover that was smoking is now not running in the lane, blocking all the cars. Price, price. Look at all the action on that Civic, and no one else is around the auction. Everyone's around that car. I wanted to stop at eight grand, it's already at 10.6, and still climbing. Hey, there's a Skyline at the auction today. I don't know what we bought yet. We're gonna go check it out. I bought a Mustang. I haven't owned a Mustang in a while. It's a convertible. To be quite honest with you, it's a little late to be buying convertibles. Those should all be sold already because I should be looking for trucks and SUVs and back to school cars. Nevertheless, I wanted a project and it's kind of a beater. So let's go check it out. There we go. That is my beater of a Mustang. You can see the V6 wheels, the spoiler and the clear coat is all faded. The top is taped up. Ah, dang it. That top was down when I looked at it, so I didn't see that. I'm sure the seats are ripped. And the bumper, I think, was falling off right here. We got a little dent right there. We'll go down right down the side. Clear coat, and that's pretty ugly right there. Ugh, the seat's ugly. Dang it, why do I do this stuff to myself? I suppose I do it for the views. Will it start? You know the game. Will it start? Let's check it out. Whew, it is hot in here. Look. All right. That's a good sign. A little slow, but that's a good sign. Windows work. Does the top work? 
I think it works because I saw it down when I bit on it. Let's see. All right, another good sign. So this is an 03 Ford Mustang GT, 4.6 liter, dogmatic, unfortunately. 108,000 miles. I kind of want to make a Cobra clone out of it, and that's what this video is going to be about. I paid three grand for this car. Now the good news is, another Mustang GT went through the auction and didn't sell at five grand, meaning that wasn't high enough of a price for the seller to sell it. They want five grand for that Mustang, so I think I did it right on mine. So that one was five, this one was three. I think we have a little bit of money to play with and then we can kind of make a profit off of it. All right, pup, there's your gate pass. This car's for you to take home. Pup is working for the week. It's all yours, go enjoy it. No burnouts. I want my tea burn. <laughs> Now because we bought it at an auction, it's a dealer auction, I need a dealer license to enter, and you can't just drive out with a Mustang, right? So to prove that we paid for it, you get a gate pass after you pay for it, and we give it to the guard at the entrance and the exit, and then we can leave with our car. Enjoy. That's a good sign too. Oh man, that car is ugly. Now, last week I was at the auction and I bought my wife a 2015 GMC Yukon Denali XL. The thing is awesome. I'm trying to get her out of a minivan, but she loves her minivan. She loves her Honda Odyssey, and let's face it, they're pretty, pretty amazing once you own one. But this week, I bought a 2018 Honda Odyssey EXL, so I think I might do a video where she gets to choose. Does she choose the Denali or does she choose the minivan? To be quite honest with you, I think she's gonna choose the minivan. Myself, personally, I would go for the Denali, but look at how nice this thing is. Kinda smells like cats. The only reason I think she might choose the Denali is because it has dual DVD players, and this one has no DVD player. So as spoiled as that is for my kids, it's actually more for our benefit, because without the DVD player, the kids fight and argue with the DVD player. They're quiet the whole time. You just asked the perfect question to our next video. What was that question again? How many more you have at the auction? What else you get? Well, we haven't had a project in quite a while, like a good project. So I thought I'd lay it on you and put you to the test again. I'll do the designing. You do all the hard work. <laughs> and we'll see how this thing comes out. I'm not going to tell you what it is until we get to the auction, though. Nice shirt, by the way. I like that. Uh, thank you. Stretch that out. Let's see it. Yeah, you can buy those in the link down below. You ready for it? Yes. That's our next project. Oh, yeah. So I think it has what realtors would call good bones. I can see past the dents, the wheels, the colors right. So what I'm thinking is Cobra bumper, like a nice offset set of wheels, like deep dish wheels on it. And if you look back here, we need some paint work on the trunk and spoiler. I don't know what we're gonna do with those seats. But I think it could be kinda cool. It has low miles. It's an 03 with 104 on it. Already has the exhaust. And I think like buffing will bring this color back really, really well. This is gonna be good. I think it's gonna be like a nice transition. Here is one of my others for today. Well, not quite yet because I have an if on it. Well, what is an if? An if means I was the high bidder, but I didn't meet the seller's reserve. So they gave me a counter offer and it kind of gives me some time to look at this. So now I can see that we have a dented fender here. Those aren't that expensive. The top is in good shape. This is a 2015 with 105,000 miles. I was the high bidder at 10 too. That is an absolute score. I have never seen a 15 Jeep Wrangler that cheap. That's easily a $20,000 plus dollar Jeep Wrangler on the retail market. They countered me at 12 grand. Now I have two hours to decide yes or no, but it gives me two hours to come back, look at it, drive it, and make my decision. So it's a sport, crank windows, standard transmission. Let's see if it starts. Will it start? 100,000 on the dot. Kind of smells like a beaver's butthole, but we can take care of that. Oh, look what I found in the back seat. That 
would be the replacement fender. Just saved myself a hundred bucks. I think I'm gonna go with it. Let's take it for a test drive and then we get to go say yes and then take it home. There's our last one for the day, 2013 Mazda 353,000 miles in a six-speed transmission. This will be a great back to school car. You guys are gonna be thinking about going to college, going back to high school, they need their new rides. Perfect car for it. You just have to teach kids how to drive standard transmissions now. That right there is what they call a millennial anti-theft device. Oh, and before we go, let me just mention that I did end up buying a 2018 Ford Raptor with 17,000 miles. There's a kicker though. It has a reconstructed title, which means I didn't spend $65,000, which is actually what these things are worth. I paid a significantly lower amount, and I'll have a full video on this car explaining what salvage and reconstructed titles are and how to price these things and how much money we're gonna make on this when we turn it around and sell it. This one I'm excited for. Damn, I didn't see that here. An 05 Unlimited Wrangler? Shoot, I would've scooped that thing right up. Those are like the unicorns, the Jeeps, the holy grail. I have a video on that. You should check it out if you wanna know why that gets everybody so hot. <laughs> So for now, we're done for the day. I'm gonna take my Jeep back. There's our Mazda 3. Now we have to figure out what to do with that Mustang. What are your ideas? I'm thinking Cobra front end, deep dish wheels. I don't know, obviously some fresh paint, bring it back to life a little bit. But if you guys are up on some cool ass touches that we can upgrade that Mustang with, let me know down below what you guys would do with it. Next video on that car will be the process and hopefully the finish and hopefully the sale too. For now, if you have not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like right there. And also a thumbs up is like a favor to me for taking all this time to make these silly videos. Thumbs up helps boost the algorithm, so I appreciate it. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, descriptions directly down below to help support our channel. You can buy our shirts like German was wearing. Also, link down below. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks a lot, have a great day. Adios.